Wearing a mask can help prevent the spread of viruses such as SARS-CoV-2. But a mask's effectiveness depends on how well it fits. Currently, there are no simple ways to measure the fit of a mask. But a new sensor developed at MIT could make it much easier to ensure a good fit. The sensor which measures physical contact between the mask and the various face can be applied to any kind of mask. Using this sensor, the researchers analyzed the fit of surgical masks on male and female subjects and found that overall the masks fit women's faces much less closely than they fit men's faces. The researchers hope that the sensor will help people to find masks that fit them better and that designers could use it to create masks that fit a wider variety of face shapes and sizes. The sensor can also be used to monitor vital signs such as breathing rate and uh, temperature as well as environmental conditions such as humidity. The study appears in the journal Nature Electronics. The researchers began working on this project before mask wearing became common during the COVID-19 pandemic. Their original intention was to use sensors embedded in masks to measure the effectiveness of mask wearing in areas with high levels of air pollution. However, once the pandemic started, they realized that such a sensor could have more widespread applications. With so many different kinds of masks available during the pandemic, the researchers thought this kind of sensor could be useful to help individuals find the best fitting mask for them. Currently, the only way to measure mask fit is to use a machine called a mask fit tester which evaluates the mask fit by comparing air particle concentrations inside and outside of the face mask. However, this type of machine is only available in specialized facilities such as hospitals, which use them to evaluate mask fit for healthcare workers. The MIT team wanted to create a more user-friendly portable device to measure mask fit. The MIT's research lab Conformable Decoders Group specializes in developing flexible, stretchable electronics that can be worn on the skin or incorporated into textiles to detect signals from the body. In this project, the researchers wanted to monitor both biological and environmental conditions simultaneously such as breathing pattern, skin temperature, human activities, temperature and humidity inside the face mask and the position of the mask including whether people are wearing it properly or not. To integrate their sensors into face masks, the researchers created a device that they call a conformable multimodal sensor face mask, C-mask. Sensors that measure a variety of parameters are embedded in a flexible polymer frame that can be reversibly attached to the inside of any mask around the edges. To measure fit, the C-mask has 17 sensors around the edge of the mask that measure capacitance which can be used to determine whether the mask is touching the skin at each of those locations. The C-mask interface also has sensors that measure temperature, humidity and air pressure which can detect activities such as speaking and coughing. An accelerometer within the device can reveal if the wearer is moving around. All of the sensors are embedded into a biocompatible polymer called the polymide which is used in medical implants such as stents. The researchers tested the C-mask interface in a group of 5 men and 5 women. All of the subjects wore surgical masks and the researchers monitored the readings from the sensors as the participants performed a variety of activities such as speaking, walking and running. They also tested the sensors in a variety of temperature conditions. Using data obtained by the capacitance sensors, the researchers created a machine learning algorithm to calculate mask fit quality for each subject in the study. These measurements revealed that mask fit was significantly worse for women than men due to differences in face shape and size. However, the fit for women could be improved slightly by wearing smaller surgical masks. The researchers also found that mask fit quality was low for one of the male subjects who had a beard which created gaps between the mask and the skin. To verify their results, the researchers also collaborated with MIT's Environment Health and Safety Office on the design and evaluation of the fit and found that the fit results for each study participant were very similar to what they found using the C-mask. The researchers hope that their findings will encourage mask manufacturers to design masks that fit a variety of face shapes and sizes, especially women's faces. 
The research lab is planning to work on mass production and large scale deployment of the CMOSC interface. The researchers also hope to return to their original idea of studying the effects of air pollution on people who work outside.